Hey, what's going on everybody? To London Read Filmmaker here, where the answers comes first, the reasons come last, but we're constantly and always still learning. Today we're going to be taking a look at Godox's TL120, which is a four-foot LED tube RGBWW, but not specifically just the one tube. I'm looking at the four-piece kit that you can purchase, and I want to thank Godox for sending me out this four-piece kit so I can provide you with this review today. Now the TLDR here is... There are three sizes available for purchase depending on your needs. You have a one, two, and essentially four feet version. This review, of course, is gonna be reviewing the four feet version. Now the shorter ones come in single, double, or four piece kits. The four feet version currently only has a single or four piece kit, but maybe a two piece kit will come in the future. And here are the prices for your reference. The brightness readings may not seem like much for how much you're paying for a kit, but you are more than capable of getting talking head and product shots like this without needing to jack up your camera's ISO. When it comes to the battery life, we are seeing some great numbers here in CCT modes. It claims to have two and a half hours, but we're actually seeing a little bit more than that. And as far as RGB modes, we're getting nearly five hours due to its lower battery requirement. Now, do I recommend these Godox tube LEDs? Yes, for the price, it performs quite well. And a kit of four can be very useful if you are filming in a reasonably dark room. Add the fact that these are portable with internal batteries makes these some of the most versatile video lights out there. But at the end of the day, make sure you still have a nice kit of cob LEDs or panels for when you need more power. With the TLDR out of the way, let's dive deeper. The four piece kit comes with a sturdy case that holds your lights and the many accessories that it needs. You'll have the AC power brakes for each light as well as little light stand holders for each one. There are two tube clamps per light and some DMX connectors, aircraft cables, and lastly, a wireless remote. On a side note, I really like the implementation of the tube clamps as it not only just holds the tube in place, but you can also twist and reorient the light without unlatching it. The menu system is decently straightforward. The mode button switches between CCT, RGB, and FX modes. The dim button, of course, it lets you adjust the brightness. The FN button serves as an enter key. Now this gel button over here lets you choose between Roscoe and Lee filters for color. Now it's only gonna be displaying the numbers here, so you're gonna have to more or less memorize the name and what number it goes to. These tubes have three different wireless functions that can be used either by itself or together. You can control them with Bluetooth, which is basically your smartphone app, the Godox Lite app. The 2.4 gigahertz lets you use the remote that it comes with in the kit. And the DMX function allows you to daisy chain multiple tubes together so that one is technically the leader and it controls the rest of the tubes down in the chain. Should you decide to purchase multiple tube lights, they also have these bay holders anywhere from two, four, and I think in the future there's gonna be an eight bay holder. And without further ado, let's look at the test results as well as a couple creative ways you can use these LED tube lights instead of just sticking them in your background. Looking at the tungsten light outputs from six feet away, we're seeing each tube being about as bright as two pocket RGBs. But because of its tube-like nature, this is actually way better than a pocket RGB as I will show you later. Now, when you pair up four of these tubes, we are starting to see power outputs of approximately a 40 watt LED panel. Daylight, of course, is going to bring us much more power in terms of exposure. From six feet away, we are seeing a nice little bump on the single tube reading. And when you pair up four of these tubes together, it's giving you a nice solid 60 watt Cobb LED equivalent, which is more than enough for a key light. Looking at the color checker chart with a Kelvin dialed in on the camera, we are seeing some really great results here. The tungsten is per usual on a Panasonic tungsten color science where the skin and reds will tend to veer towards yellow, while the daylight is spot on for every color chip. Quite impressive. Because these are tube lights, you have the freedom to use them in many different orientations with different results. Here I have the four bay tube lights in either a vertical or horizontal orientation. And as you can see by the shadow qualities, they are going to give you a different look. This ultimately gives you options in terms of what kind of mood you're going for. Now, if you get to start lighting in a relatively dark room like this, these four LED tubes are more than enough for you to get an interview set up. I have one tube on the ground serving as my background color. I then have another one standing vertically off to my side in the back to give me some sort of rim light. Now, if I actually had more room in this little tiny kitchen, I would have actually boomed the light up 
on the ceiling and had it more horizontal so that it can get a more full hair light. And lastly, I had the last two tubes acting as my key light. And as you can see, with my camera settings, these tube lights are not even at full power and I am able to get exposure for a nice standard interview setup. Now for creators who do a lot of product videography or photography, you can easily utilize these tube lights for that purpose. Because of the long nature of the tubes, I opted to use them all horizontally to get the most amount of even splash of light on the product itself, ultimately giving me a high key product video clip like this. So what's the bottom line here? The bottom line is now that Godox has made a four foot version because they do have some shorter ones, it's now a lot more versatile in terms of what you can do with it, whether it's inside your scene or it's on the outside of your scene and lighting things up. Now, the major thing here is, is that I believe Nanlite is probably its closest competitor and their four piece kit costs anywhere from $1,700 all the way to $2,000. So you're saving a good amount of cash when it comes to the Godox brand. Now, whether or not the Pavo tubes are actually more bright than say the Godox, I would say it's not a major, major concern because if you have a super, super bright LED tube, the camera is not gonna necessarily be able to see it, especially if it's actually in your scene and you want to actually see that strip of light. You're gonna to have to bring it down quite a bit just to actually get the color to show up. But when it comes to using it to light something, you're not gonna get that much more power out of an LED tube just because of the way it's designed. And you're gonna to have to be in a very specific controlled environment, basically starting in a pitch black room if you want to use it for the interview setup that I showed you or shooting B-roll specifically. You're basically gonna to wanna to start in pitch black. Now, the last thing I wanna to touch up on is the Amaran four foot tubes. Now, at the recording of this video, I don't think there's actually a four piece kit coming out with its own dedicated case. That could be something that's coming in the future. But if you were to buy four of those tubes, the four foot version, you're gonna spend about 1360, which is very, very close to what the Godox is for this entire kit. You just don't get the hard case and a couple other extra goodies with it. So when it comes down to that, which one should you actually get? I've talked about this earlier in another Godox video, the Litman bicolored stuff, but basically at this point in time, Aperture has really solidified what their set of lights are. And Godox seems like they are making the mirror equivalent and usually coming in at approximately the same price. So what I would say is if you are looking for tube lights, it really depends on which camp you already exist in. If you already have a bunch of aperture lights, it just makes sense for you to get the Amaran version. If you have a bunch of Godox lights, then it makes more sense just to get the Godox lights. Whether or not each one of these tubes are gonna be able to outdo each other, not necessarily. A tube light is somewhat limited in what it can do, but with what it does do, both of them are gonna work just the same. Now. Again, the Citus Link DMX could change everything, in which case you could make a Godox tube light work in their ecosystem, but until that is fully out there in the open and we can do some tests with it, we just don't know. For now, it just makes sense for you to go with whatever company you've already gone with. And hey, that is it for this week, everybody. If this video has made all the influence in your purchasing decisions, I do have some affiliate links down below. Should you use it, it does help support the channel at no extra cost to you. And as always, if you have any questions or comments, go ahead and leave it down below. I will get to them as fast as I can. And until then, like, subscribe, share, and I'll see you next time.